And hello everybody, welcome to the new series of Civilization 6. We are going to be playing on Deity this time. Yes, that's right, we're playing on Deity, and we're going to be playing on also a Pangea map. We're going to play on Huge, and we're actually going to add more players. And this will probably get a bit laggy, so I'm warning you now, it might just get a little bit laggy. My computer's okay, you know, it's a good computer, but like, damn. We're going to put more city-states in the game though. And yeah, we're going to just try and do a deity game against lots of AI because somebody really wanted me to uh, to do this. It was a huge suggestion. However, I am going to change a few things up. Now, th these are the things I'm going to do. I'm going to make the world normal, probably. But I'm going to give everybody a legendary start because <sighs> I hate the reloading in the game. Like, when you get, like, a re and I'm not saying when you get a you know, an okay start location. That's fine. But when you keep getting, like, re-rolling the same crappy starts, and then you end up playing a game as Brazil, on Prince difficulty, without realizing that it hadn't maintained the deity option for ages, then yeah, it gets a bit intense. And apparently, we are going to be playing this absolute domination victory. So, I'll, this was purely for, uh, what do you call it? For interest? For curiosity's sake. What will the AI do if there's only one victory type available and it happens to be domination? So we're going to do that. It's going to be really interesting uh, to see how the AI actually performs in this version. I hope they actually do really well because that would be really exciting. So that the idea is that this would be a very exciting game. Perhaps it will uh, destroy us very easily, but hey, it's fine. But we are going to be playing as Cyphia. Uh, because at least then we know we're not going to get a totally, you know, troll stomped here. And we're going to probably go full on military mode right from the beginning. We're just going to go out there and we're going to start conquering and we're going to see what we can get up to. But yeah, so that will be fine. Um, and Pangea map just makes it easier to just cross the continent rather than having to get a navy and all that sort of business. We've already done that. I want to try something different. So here we go. Tamiris. And I've made a personal goal for myself: destroy every civilization. From the first stirrings of life beneath water. Before, actually, I'll, the great beast I'll, I'll let the narrator talk. Age. Sean Bean. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. All people will tremble with fear and respect for you, great warrior queen Tamiris. For it is from the back of your stallion that you shall look upon and lead the Scythian people. Great epics will be told of the horse warriors that ride forth from the steppe, and at the front line of every battle, they will find you. Ride on, fierce queen, and may your friends be true, just as your enemies falter. Excellent. So we've got the Killer of Cyrus ability, which is pretty amazing. So all units receive plus five combat strength when attacking wounded units. When they eliminate the unit, you heal up to 50 hit points and the people of stat. Receive a second light cavalry unit or Saka, Saka, horse archer, each time you train a light cavalry unit. And yes, that does include helicopters in the late game, which is, oh my god, insane. So we're going to see what we can do, take advantage of this lovely civilization, and we'll see what we can get going. And guys, welcome to this game. Uh, but yeah, I didn't really like the last map, but this one's looking very interesting. Seem to have a trend actually in this game of getting really good uh, jungle starts. So this is actually not bad. Lots of places to chop down rainforest because we're probably not going to need them after a while. And yeah, I think this will actually do a lot better for us than the last one. Plus we actually have horses in this one. And there's marshes and I don't know, I, it's a more interesting environment. That's what it looks like. There's plenty of production going on as well because of the rainforest. So yeah, I'm going to settle down on place because it's looking really good. And I think, yeah, and look at that. We've even got sheep here. So this is going to be great. So what are we going to work first? Probably the horses to get uh, some growth. And yeah, I'm going to get a scout first. And then we're going to scout to slinger. Or scout to warrior. Ugh. I think more melee is what we're going to want, because the, the Sakai horse archers aren't uh, melee units. Um, but what do we want? Animal husbandry! Yes! I would love to, if possible, reveal horses when I can. Oh wait, what am, what am I talking about? Sorry. <laughs> we already have horses. 
But yeah, so this is going to be the game. And, oh, and I didn't clearly define what my goal of this game is. So I had a game in Civ 5 once where I was playing as the, uh, the hunt. Oh, aha! We found another content. We found a uh, tribal hunt. Goody hut. Um, and yeah, I played as the Huns in a Civ 5 game where I made it my goal to destroy all of the AI before reaching, um, before, before anyone could reach the industrial era to symbolize sort of destroying civilization, kind of an anti-civilization game. And that's kind of what I want to go for in this game, is be an anti-civilization, where the point of our civilization is not in fact to become a great and almighty and expansive empire, uh, but to, in fact to destroy all empires that exist. This might be a good second city location here. Wow, look at that. So we've got a promotion on that unit. That's probably a good thing, to be honest. And yet we will just keep walking around first, though, instead of spending that promotion straight up. Um, looks like there's a city-state over here, and I'll be very keen to stag as many city-states as I can early on. Because that is going to be where my strength therein lies. So Pelenque, hey, look who it is, it's Pelenque. And we indeed got them first, thank God. Inspiration of state workforce, well, you never know, buddy. Um, so yeah, we met them first, and yeah, that's kind of familiar because in our, um, in my game is Brazil, which I may or may not have posted first or not. Um, yeah, I got to place them. Unfortunately, that was an accidental misclick, but yeah, you know what, screw it, we'll go north. Um, I'm not going to backtrack just because I made a mistake. There might be something amazing up here, and there might be something amazing down here. Who knows? I am fond of pigs. Dogs look up to us. Mm. Cats look down on us. Pigs this way. treat us as equals. Now, the question is, not of wonders at all. No wonders. That is not going to happen. Don't even think about it. Just no. However, I am thinking... Maybe. Wow, look at all these resources. This is really good. In fact, this is so good, I'm actually going to lock down that next. And then we'll get that tile. And then, oh, yep. Yeah, really excellent production uh, and food to start with. So that is wonderful. That's what I wanted. We are on legendary start. And I believe, because I had to reload, I might have actually not included the extra two civs in the game. But we're still on a huge map. So here are all the details. We've got the deity. We are playing, uh, well, it doesn't say huge, but we are on a huge map. You will find out eventually. If you don't believe me now, well, boy, oh boy, you'll believe me later. Now, the question is, what do we grab next? We have to get up to this, but I don't want to stall my science or anything like that. And plus, I believe campuses get uh, adjacency from, yeah, rainforest tiles. So that's going to be fine. Um, what is our weakness right now? I would say our strength is any attacks that come in this direction are going to be terrible, but any attacks against this direction are going to be terrible. So yeah, we need to make sure that um, whoever we are going to end up attacking is preferably in this direction. And yeah, we're going to get... Oh, man, I just I love it. This start is good. It's not the most fitting for Scythia or Scythia, because I would imagine Scythia being more of a um, sort of plains civilization. But it doesn't mean to say there aren't planes around. Or plones, as some people call them. Plones. Like, I like aircraft. We're not talking about aircraft. So, getting that warrior up is going to be fine. But I don't want to stall my uh, culture either. And yeah, I'm not going to move right up. It looks like they're actually being attacked probably by a sieve. So yeah, I would much rather find more goody huts uh, first. Oh, there's Japan. We found Japan. It's a Japan. So that's awesome. I'm glad to meet you. And we've met Auckland, who we've probably, unfortunately, not. Um, ooh. Well, hello there. I will take that opportunity. And we've got a boost to military tradition. Hello, Auckland. Unfortunately, you are not... Well, actually, not very relevant to us. And we've got boost to sailing. Uh, well done. <laughs> now, do we want to keep going north, or do we want to swing around? Maybe there's some ruins here. Definitely want to explore this area to see if it's my sort of cup of tea. And yeah, I think a good city here might not be a bad idea. I thought idea. Clay must feel happy in the good potter's hand. Ooh, we could just run along here. Yep, see what's over there. Lots of desert. Very lovely looking desert too. Now, do we go this way or do we try and head up here? Ah, it looks like they've got a scout there, so yeah. Damn. Kind of sucks because he's probably going to move to that tile next. Oh, well. Right, so get that warrior out just for protection. Yeah, he did. Oh, I hate you. 
Okay, so we're gonna go this way instead, because I uh, I don't want to stall. It is not wisdom, but authority that Man. makes a law. Right, so we're gonna head into Harald the oasis. I'm gonna find Harold, Harold Hadrada, and he's actually over in that direction now. That's where Stavanger is. <laughs> Stavanger. Not how you say it, but well, you know, could be, could be one day. Right, and we finally got up to that, so we can get foreign trade first. And yes, we are gonna grab the usual suspects. Uh, Discipline and God King. It's going to be excellent for setting our agenda. Um, and the yeah, Warrior, which I will send south. We've met another city-state, so we will get political philosophy. Have we met another city-state, or have they amended the rules now? Meet free city-states. We haven't, though. Hmm. Oh, well. I'm not, I'm not going to argue with the magic conch. Hey, look, at spice. Is that spices? No, it's incense. I was gonna say like that's not spices. That's spices. So a few good city locations. You know, it might actually be great thinking just to get a settler out right now. Um, settle this area here. We can a bit of overlap. Oh, no, not too much overlap. Right here. Get the stone. Get the bananas. Get more stone. Get the dyes up here eventually. Whew. Let's just let's just have a look a bit first. Or hmm, I'm probably gonna buy the builder. Yeah, I'm thinking settler. Let's just let's just rush into it. No time like the present. I mean, yeah, we are going to do a lot of conquering, but we're going to need a few industrial bases from which to uh, build our war machine. Plus, the AI always starts with uh, additional cities on deity. Ooh, it's not a bad location down here either. Charming. Maybe there's some more in this jungle here. And yeah, we've got a, a bit of a, a little pit here. Might actually, uh, yeah, get Japan to attack one more time, and then we can take it out. Writing is easy. Look, all you have to do is cross out the wrong words. Ha! Right, you head there. See if we can grab that. Ooh, Muscat. We did not meet you first. Damn it! But at least we have one. We have Pelenque, and they are giving us some extra uh, bonus science. So you know what? I'm not complaining. I'm gonna complain hard. Um, plantations. We are gonna need plantations to get our luxuries up and running. Luxury, I suppose. Um, what I would like actually is archery, and I don't think we're going to get the boost for that anytime soon. Not going to need the mines. So, yeah, let's go straight up to get our Sakai horses and see if maybe we can take out a city state. Like, screw the city states, right? Me no. Me no care. Uh, yep, go ahead. Awesome, and yeah, maybe grab that promotion, like, finally. Um, ooh, yeah, not bad sights down here. Got to boost astrology. Um, yeah, we probably wouldn't have gotten... Um, I think astrology requires... Yeah, find natural wonder, which we haven't done, and we might not. Like, sometimes natural wonders can be quite, um, evasive. Now, just head over here. I know you've got that promotion, but just have a look. Oh, big desert. Nasty. Head over here, maybe there'll be more ruins somewhere, da da da. Very terrible cultural growth, but that's something because we've stalled our monument. Yeah, get a settler out. Plonk him down over here and it's going to be brilliant. Uh, so you've got like tons of different things, move there. <gasps> Where? There. Go. Run! Ooh, lots of desert. Right, you can actually head along here. Yeah, try to explore that. There's a Stonehenge at turn 20. Almost always turn 20. It's literally. And he's just like, oh my god, I sense tribe of village. I'm like, haha, too late. So, kaboom. Oh, we even got something that would actually fit the Japanese. We have ourselves a nice little relic here. Beautiful. That might actually give us a uh, pantheon. Because now we're getting some faith. We've met Kabul. We did not meet them first. Screw you. Head south, maybe we can meet something down here that's not quite common. And yeah, we're obviously in the equatorial region of this world. I have not seen any coast yet. Um, yeah, not even the Japanese are on the coast, so we are in a very interesting uh, scenario. You know what, get your promotion finally because you're just wasting it now. Uh, any experience he further gets, unfortunately, it does not count anymore. Ooh, got another sieve down here, it looks like. Uh, so I might actually head this way just to get my scout to meet them, but I would like to see if they've found any of this stuff down here. 
course, Moscow was already met, so, like, I don't know. We're probably not going to meet any new sea states. I'm just happy we got the one. Like, that's, that's fine. Now, let's look at quests as well. Oh, we did get Auckland first, did we? No, we succeeded at a quest. That's great that we're getting that extra production, though. So you wanted me to get a boost to state workforce, train heavy chariot, and destroy a barbarian outpost within five tiles. Well, well, we might be able to snag something. So there's another city state there, but yeah, unfortunately, uh, I don't think we're going to meet any sort of really special new ones. I think I still added the extra um, city states into this game, so they're still here. This is a really good city location. I'm almost tempted to forward settle here and then come back and. You know, grab that. Maybe Every even grab that. Lives by exchanging. Oh, there he is. It's Hadrian. We're still playing with the Hadrian mod, uh, which is fine. And we've got Mohenjo-Daro, who's already being attacked by Rome. So, yeah. I wonder where Rome is. Rome is... All the way down there. That's fine. I don't want to be too close to Rome. Now, I did want to get a boost for one of these. Improve free tiles. Well, hey, look. Just in time for a builder. And then I think after the settler, we're going to place down our campus. I know, we're really waiting a bit on our, um, what do you call it? Ah, I love this tile. Um, we are waiting a bit on getting our, um, ooh, another city-state. Uh, what do you call it? Military units, but we're nowhere near building them yet. We've already got, we've got two warriors, we've got one scout. It's fine. May the forces of evil become confused while your arrow is on its way to the target. It's not my fault the AI did this. Look, no penalties for surprise war at this stage. And no scar. Hello, Gandhi. Yeah, no nice to meet you, pal. Oh, jeez. He's got the archer there. You know what? Swing round. He'll probably bring that in. He could probably take it back. But you know what? Can we get peace again? No. Usually it's really quick, though, to get peace again with them. So it's fine. We've got the boost to horseback riding, which we definitely wanted. Um, and yeah, and I guess at this stage, go and like, hook some stuff up. Uh, it would be nice to get irrigation, but we don't have any resources to farm. Uh, apart from this rice over here, but that's going to be a while. Uh, but yeah. yeah you have <gasps> I'm a bloodthirsty barbarian! Oh no! So evil. Um... This might actually not be a bad location to set alive, but look at these mountains. Oof. Might be about to stumble upon, like, the jewel of our empire, or future jewel of our empire. Alright, so we've got another settler already as well. Uh, and we can also get a pantheon. Plus one culture from pastures would be very helpful for us right now, because we're about to hook up two, maybe even three pastures. So, maybe. We do have a few marshes. Um over here. In fact, we've even got a marsh on a rice paddy. Paddy. But we don't actually have it in our territory right now, so it's not going to be of any benefit. Plus, it's not doing anything better for us than what we've already got, so it's, yeah. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe over there as well. So, what do I want to do? So I want to actually go and forward settle. This is going to be a very, very extended empire, though, if I do this. So maybe what I'll do is actually I'll send you up here first. And what exact location do we want? Probably here, just to have that, like, I don't know, marsh in the way. And again, this still gets the dice here as well. Yeah, and then maybe we'll think about settling down here even, uh, depending what we see. Alright, so you guys are now linking. Linking arms. And yeah, there's the Romans. Jeez. They could actually come and take my city if I'm not careful. Um, blah -de blah Right, you know what? Let's just get the pastures. We've never got it before. Let's do it. It's going to help us immediately. Now, I think at this stage, despite what I said about getting a campus out, I need to get some defensive units. So let's get another warrior. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody likes you, Ivor. Heh, <laughs> Ivor. His name's not Ivor. It's Harold. But even so. So yeah, the Romans are too far away. They're they're probably just going to want to peace out at this stage or in in a bit. In a bit. This isn't a bad location. Wow. All right, let's tease them by having their, like, former settler. Look at this. It's a nice little valley. Could be great for science as well. <sighs> Beautiful. All right, you head there. And uh, I don't know if there's actually any Roman units over this way. It would be wise, though, in case there's barbarians, just to keep these guys proactive. So, yeah. Keep your defense high, my friend. 
I want to see what's over here. Could be very delicious, could be terrible. Maybe I should just stay and fight these. Mm, doesn't have a slinger though. No, I think we are going to still head over here and try and settle this region. Maybe. Probably do. No, he's going to cross the river then, and he'll probably even get like a, um, yeah, booster. No, no, let's just run. Let's run away. What? No. Hook this up, go grab that, come back, and then, yeah, build that up as well. Dang. It's amazing. But yeah, I need to get that extra production and extra culture, so that's fine. You head this way. And this isn't looking like a terrible location either. You know, I'm almost tempted, really. You know, let's see what's over here first, and then we'll determine if there's anything of worth in this region. Worth settling. I do feel a bit surrounded though. There are lots of enemies from all directions. Um, well, you know, everybody's an enemy in this game because it's um, thingy victory only. Uh, you know what? The settler can unhook. Oh, it's looking alright. It's not looking great, but yeah. Yeah, you can just try and grab that if you can. Hmm. I'm still thinking this way is probably where we want to go. Yeah. But heck, getting a few cities up in the early game is really good. Oop. Player's been defeated. Probably Mohenjo-Daro? No, they're about to get destroyed, though. Which is a shame. I just As long as they survive. Oh, there it is. Well, there you go. Ah, that changes few plans, sadly. Um, okay, so they've decided to settle there. Can't blame them. It's a great place. This is terrible because there'll be lots of desert over here and it's on the wrong side of defencing. Defencing, defending. Yeah. I mean, we only lose one cattle, really, by still settling here. Could still be worth it, but then we've got that border friction. Maybe we want the border friction. Maybe we still want to settle over here then. Or we'll settle over here. Can get that jade. Especially if we settle here, yeah? Yeah. It's very close to a city though. You know what? Let's do it. Was it here that I wanted? Yeah, just so we can get that jade as well. Um this gives us free luxuries. If we still settled here and just snag the salt, get right in his face. Because if we pull back, like maybe to the river here, then we miss out on the salt. And what do we really get as a benefit? I suppose this extra rice tile here, and we've got wheat here. It's all very distant from the start, though. Mm, it'd still be worth it. Then we can still snag that spices tile. Hmm. Maybe I'll still do it. Yeah, maybe I'll still do it. He may yet, Mr. Frodo. He may yet. Um, Getting some roads is going to be really handy, though. Because that empire is going to be very much in the figure of the forests. What am I getting? I really want a campus. The problem is I want it on this hill right here. Two turns into Monument and then Campus. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Because I need to wait for the gold um, in order to manufacture that. So yeah, you grab that. Hey! That was just... Wow! Yes, please. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Almost made me hungry. Makes you late for dinner. Right, this will probably still be a good place to settle as well. I've we got a really good region for settling things. Jeez. It's amazing that we even have, like, two settlers at all. Um, do we want to cut this down? We'll just till this. Mine it up. Could actually put a farm here, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Mahanjo Dara has now, oh, survived. It's an odd one. Survived, they have. Mm. All right, you know what? Screw it. You're going to settle here, and then we're going to apologize to our lovely neighbors. About the fact that we did that. You know, after snagging all that up. 
Right, 60 is how much it's going to cost. It's fine. Actually, you know what? Hmm. Yeah, because you can't build anything here. You know what? Come over here and start maybe improving that stuff. Whereas you're going to head back here. And, uh... Is the next tile you're expanding to? Oh, just awful. Awful choices. Right, you're going to head down here. I need this region to be explored as well. In case the uh, the Romans decide to forward settle us there. Uh, can't make peace of you yet, so that's right. I do want to see what's in that jungle area, though. I've got the strangest feeling, though, we're going to miss out on this location, because it's just too good. The AI has to recognize its uh, potential. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. A trader would be good. Yeah, production times here are pretty stunning. You know what? Start on the sheep, though. Maybe we just get, like, some units going, you know? It's not a bad idea. Just to have a bigger reserve army, because that's what the AI is going to be focusing on. Uh, oh, apologies. I'm, you know, I'm very sorry. I, I didn't know. You have territory? <laughs> no, he does, because his borders are now, like, fully, you know, surrounded. Whereas ours are not. But yes, we, we, oh, we're very sorry. Yes, oh. Will never happen again. No. Okay, so this was the turn I wanted to grab that and start building the campus, please. And then we will finish that monument. It's going to delay our, um, whatever you call it, a little bit. Uh, our science. Our uh, culture. No, our culture. And then again, what has culture done for us? And that is the theme of this game. What has culture ever done for us? Oh, hope the city does know, like, to expand to this. Luckily, that's not in his natural radius, so he's probably not going to grab that. But yeah, Japan's probably got a big army. Um, where is it? Japan. Yeah. Ooh. So we're going to have to start building quite a few of our uh, Sakai horse archers. Um, so the next thing we want to grab, because now we've actually got the ability to build those. Uh, next thing is irrigation. Hmm. Irrigato. Uh, yeah. So keep moving up this way. See if you can get there. It's good. We're really going to be hounding a lot of people here. But that's the thing. We want to build, you know, not an empire, but we want to make sure that we can destroy civilization. So we're going to get in lots of people's faces. Maybe that's not the goal of this game. It sounds a bit ridiculous now. Do do do. Sendai, or Sendai, Shandai. I had thought about playing uh, as the Japanese for this game, because I know this is going to be quite an intense one, but I don't know. Domination only, because, I mean, Japan would be great for other things as well. I get the feeling this civilization, though, is meant to uh, to play this game very aggressively. And I'm glad we've got some tourism. Like, it's, you still need tourism. Without craftsmanship. Inspiration is a mere reed shaken in the wind. Awesome, and we are going to build a district, so that's fine. Uh, somebody wanted to boost the state workforce, actually. I think it was Palenque. Yep, so you could just head back down there, maybe do a bit more exploration. And yeah, head up, buddy. We really need that, that settler uh, location, settled location. Now... We are going to get to Irrigation. I don't really want to leave him vulnerable here. And I would like to get some peace. But it looks like he's being a total knob face. So never mind. So yeah. We'll see what happens. Hey! We have met uh, Mr. Mr. Saladin. Yes, we met a, a Saladin. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Who is deciding to settle very close to me. Which is only natural, of course, because that's that's what the AI does. <sighs> no. <laughs> this is my region. This be my territory. But that's fine. We're about to get our third city, and it's going to be fine. And yeah, this guy's then going to upgrade that. We'll get more culture out of that. In fact, if anything, we are making up for the fact that we didn't build the monument early. Um, yeah, by building that. Unfortunately, he's built Damascus there. I don't know how viable that is as a city to, like, keep, but, you know, we'll see what happens. It's another rival, though, which is just, oof. The fact that he shoved the city there, just, like, that was like, like, oh, we could be friends. And then, you know, you see the settler, it's like, yeah. Do, do, do. You go there. And then, yeah. I'm going to check how long this episode's gone for. 
quite long enough. So, hey, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you will enjoy the series that I'm bringing to you. And, heck, I might just get my butt kicked because that tends to happen on Deity. But, yeah, it's going to be a very fun game. And, of course, I will catch you guys next time. If you are new to my channel, do check out my other stuff as well. Make sure to subscribe if you're enjoying my content. And, of course, everybody, leave a like down below and a comment. I love reading the comments. Comment away. And thank you for watching.